leading off for the Philippines, we have Leanne Baleen playing second base as well. Seeing if she can get something started here for her teammates in this opening game of the World Cup. A little outside, takes ball one. Aileen is starting off well, no ball, two balls, no strikes as the leadoff hitter for the Philippines. This is a big pitch here from the Czech Republic. From the Philippines side, you want to get that leadoff hitter on. Most of the time we're able to score them over. And here, Leon does a great job taking four balls and getting herself on for her team. Next up, a lefty, Grazi Bayou, playing center field for the Philippines. Shows bunt and pulls back. That's a good idea with four balls in, thrown in the previous at bat, taking a pitch is a smart idea. Oh, shows bunt, the pitcher bobbles a little bit, gets Grazia on. Now the Philippines have excellent positioning with runners on first and second here with no outs. Lucia's a little upset. I'm sure all these girls have a little bit of anxiety, a lot of nerves starting this tournament, the biggest tournament I think they've ever had to play in. Um, sometimes they make that one mistake and those nerves overwhelm them, but she can come back here and get a strike for her team. And Erica Arnaz, Swings at the first pitch and is able to poke it in the 5-6 hole. And again, move those runners into scoring position. Now with bases loaded, gets that outside pitch and places it right into the outfield. Great job being aggressive from the Philippines. In the circle. Ball outside. Erica swings and that ball bounces foul. I'm sure the Czechs would have loved for that ball to be in play and be able to make an out at home. But it was foul and Erica gets another at bat here. Another chance at a good at bat. Erica pops this ball up to left field deep enough where the runner is going to try and score, but she holds up. That's a smart decision there. And great job by Lucia getting a fly ball, creating an out for her team. The Philippines have one out with bases loaded. Coming up to bat is Anna Marie Pisa.
Takes a good swing of that inside pitch. Ground ball to the first baseman and they get the out at home. Not allowing any runners to score. Morova is doing a great job getting outs in this inning. Started off rough, allowing bases loaded, but now there's two outs. And she can get out of this inning. Up to bat now, Christine Caligas for the Philippines. Again, bases loaded with two outs. The Philippines looking to get a ball past the infield and score some runs. Ball's a little high. Two balls, no strikes. And Christine makes great contact, is able to drive in a run with the ball right over second base into the outfield. And they try and back pick the runner at third, but she slides and dives in there safely. Christine is able to rack up her first RBI of the tournament. Again, getting that ball, squaring it up down the middle and driving in a run for their team. Now up for the Philippines, Francine Ragas. Switching her helmet, not feeling good on her head. Francine hits a ground ball to the first baseman. Easy out at one. But before the inning's over with two outs, Christine's ball up the middle is able to put the Philippines on the board early. Starting off in the circle for the Philippines, Erica Arnaz trying to keep her team ahead early in this game. She's got Santos behind the plate catching for her, Gonzalez at first, Baylene at second, Caligas at third, Isa at short, in left field is Panteria. Bayut at center field, and Lorenzo in right field. Batting first for the Czech is Katerina Holubsova. She's able to get it down right to the catcher, gets that lucky hop, and she's able to get her in time.
Great play from the catcher, popping up quick from that squatting position and getting the first out at first. Batting second for the check, Victoria Pimova. That's a great pitch from Erica, getting ahead early in the count. One ball, one strike. Pemova is able to foul that ball off. That's a great inside pitch from Erica. Tough to hit. You have to get out in front of that. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss from Pemova. Gives Erica her first strikeout of the tournament and the second out of the inning. Now batting for the check is Christina Bohakova. She's got one strike on her already with two outs here in the first. And that's a good take from her. Sometimes that rise ball gets a little deceiving. You're a little anxious to swing. Again, her nerves are probably pumping and she wants to get herself on, but that's a great take. And they're checking to see if she did go around. And it looks like they called that a swing. So Bakova now has one ball and two strikes. And that rise ball swing and a miss, getting Erica her second out. The Philippines throwing it down for that drop third strike. Any ball that's in the ground or is dropped by the catcher, they're able to throw down to first and get that out. End of the first inning, the Philippines lead one to zero.
top of the second inning, the Philippines lead 1 to 0. Starting off the inning is Sheena Panteria. Shows butt and pulls back, but it's a called strike with a change up. Strike two on Sheena swinging at a ball, little in the zone, up in the zone. We see a lot of athletes, these younger athletes, get that bat out like a bunt to get their timing down. And she's just a bit ahead of that ball and does a great job taking that rise ball out of the zone for a one-two count. Another great job. That rise ball is so deceiving for athletes. She's able to take this one. Takes ball three. It looks like Lucia wanted that one called, but a great take from Sheena. Bring it to a full count. And Sheena connects with this one. Center fielder can't make the grab. Sheena rounds second base. Is she going to go to third? Stand up triple from Sheena Panteria to lead off the Philippines here in the second inning. You can see she's got that bat out again for timing and is able to take that ball to left field just out of the reach of Pemova in center field. And that gets past them on a turf field like we have here. It's tough. That ball just keeps going. Ends up in favor of the Philippines with a runner lead off on third base. Excellent scoring position. Now up to bat, Janelle Santos shows bunt and is able to score the runner. And that's a great job sacrificing herself to get the Philippines up two to zero. Leon Baylene up again for the Philippines. She was able to get herself on last inning with four pitches, four balls. That's a nice pitch from Lucia just out of the zone though. If she can continue to throw in that area, she'll get these Philippine hitters swinging. A chopper to the third base. Easy play at one. Two outs here in the second inning. Again, you can see playing on these turf fields in Japan, the ball... Bounces more than you're expecting, maybe on a dirt field, um, and some sometimes is easier to read for athletes, and we saw that there. Easy out at one for Bayou, ending the top of the second for the check, but with another run across the board for the Philippines. 2-0, to zero, heading into the bottom of the second inning.
up to bat for the check. We have Bada Jaleska. No, excuse me. Again, pitching for the Philippines is Erica Arnez. She was able to sit down the check. One, two, three, last inning. Let's see if the check can get something started. Here in the second inning, two balls, one strike for Bada Jaleska. And she takes a mean swing at that ball. But what a great pitch tailing off to the outside corner. 2-2 two, two count. Another good swing from Bada. Deep fly ball almost to the fence and it bounces over, resulting in a ground roll double. So she'll, she'll stay at second, but she makes great contact with that ball and bounces over the fence. A ball high up, so she's able to elevate it just over the fence, bounces right before it. Tough break. For Bada, good break for the Philippines, but now the Czech have a runner in scoring position. Lucia Horova now up for the Czech. Let's see if she can move her runner over. And cold strike one from Erica. A great swing from Lucia just under the ball. You can tell she wants to get her teammate in on second base. And her team's cheering. That's that's one thing about these younger girls is they can get those cheers pumping and really get a rally going for their teammates up to bat. Great pitch from Erica up in the zone. Gets Lucia swinging. And one out for the Philippines. Places this ball right at the top of the strike zone. If Lucia is able to get that, that's a fly ball. That's going to be another out. And so that's a great job from the pitching staff. And that's strike one for Nella Svetskova. With one out and her teammate on second. Any type of ball to the right side would be perfect for the check. And they're swinging hard. They want to get Bada in at second base. And there she goes up again. Getting Nella swinging, strike three. Strikeout again for Erica Arnez with the runner in scoring position.
Oh, they're thinking of a back pick. Good idea. We see Bodat second taking a big lead with Teresa Skolokiva up to bat and two outs in the bottom of the second inning. And there she goes, up, up, up. I'm sure the coaching staff for the check are scouting and telling their girls we need to lay off that awesome rise ball that she's got. It's a tough pitch to lay off of, though. Catches Teresa swinging. The count is one and two. I wouldn't be surprised to see a ball up in the zone here. And there it is. But Teresa is able to put the ball on the bat a little bit, give herself another chance at this at bat. And that's what you have to do with those tough pitches is just foul them off, foul them off until you're able to really connect with one. And she chases strike three. Strikeout number four for Erica Arnez of the Philippines. Leaving one runner on. Heading into the third, Philippines lead two to zero. Leading off for the Philippines, Erica Arnez. She's holding her own in the circle. Let's see if she can get herself on. She goes after a pitch up in the zone a bit. See how it feels from the other end. Swings at strike one. Fouls that ball off down the first baseline. No balls, two strikes. Franez. And a changeup gets her swinging. but is dropped by the catcher and they're able to throw her out at first. Again, that dropped third strike. But the check was able to play that well and get the first out. One pitch, one swing for Erica Gonzalez. Fly ball caught by the third baseman. And now the Philippines are quickly at two outs. And that's a good job from Lucia Horova in the circle. Again, having quick at-bats with the Philippines. Two outs right away. She's definitely settled down since the first inning.
Anna Pisa up for the Philippines. Good pitch from Horova, called strike. Ball up in the zone. She's able to connect with her center fielders under that. Three quick outs for the Czech Republic. No runs scored. No runners on. Heading into the bottom of the third with the Philippines up 2-0. to zero. Starting off the bottom of the third, Magdalena Kremova takes the first pitch, and that's ball one. High ball two. It is a baseball field. They add that additional piece of turf for the pitchers at the 40-foot mark. Um, and sometimes they can get a little tangled in there. And there's an inside pitch on Kremova. Two balls, one strike. Going upstairs, Kremova chasing it. Again, a key for these Czech players is going to be to lay off that high rise ball from Erica and get after something early. Magdalena's in a 2-2 count. Hits a ball off the handle, jams her a little bit, ball trinkles down the first baseline. And Gonzalez at first is able to step on first and get the first out of the inning. Emma Fribova for the check. Swinging early and being aggressive. And that's a great idea with Erica's rise ball that she throws so often later in the count. Fouls that first pitch off for strike one. She's able to get a piece of that second pitch. Fouls it right back off. No balls, two strikes for Emma Fribova. Freebova striking out with that pitch up in the zone.
two outs here in the bottom of the third. Anna Friedlova now up. One ball, one strike. Excuse me, Katarina. One ball, one strike. Trying to drop that bunt down. One ball, two strikes. Two outs here for Katarina and Erica in the bottom of the third. And she's able to lay off that rise ball. Katarina fouls that pitch off, keeping herself alive here in the bottom of the third. Now her second at bat, maybe uh, the jitters are gone and she's able to focus a little more, have a longer at bat. And that rise ball again. Upstairs, strike three. Racking up the K's for Erica Arnez. Two one, the Philippines heading into the fourth inning. Top of the fourth for the opening game of the under 15 World Cup, the Czech Republic and the Philippines. The Philippines lead two to zero, getting ahead early in this game and see if they can score more here. Leading off the fourth, Christine Caligas for the Philippines. Big swing there. One ball, one strike. Nice change up from Harova. 
Gets Christine chasing, resulting in her second strike. One, two, count here. Perova going upstairs a little too high out of the zone. Two, two. That's another good change up just out of the zone. Good idea to switch up the speed, throw a change up, then go high, and then another change up just out of the zone. But good idea changing speeds on these hitters. Christine fouls the ball off out of play, not catchable for the first baseman. Now it's 3 2. Grounds that ball to the shortstop. Takes a tricky little hop at the end. But she's able to make the play over at first. Got one out for the Philippines. Francine Ragas. Up for the Philippines. Here with one out. Ball out of the zone. Two balls, no strikes. That's a nice pitch from Hor Horova getting herself back in this at bat. Placing it right on the inside corner. Two balls, one strike. Good cut from Francine. Fouls it off to the right field side, but out of play. Two balls, two strikes. And there's another pitch that we see get loose in the dirt. And that's our drop third strike rule again. A player, a batter swinging at that pitch. We can see that ball heads down, bounces, but she swings. The catcher misses it, so that makes the ball playable. The batter able to run to first um but they're able to get her out. So here we go. Two outs with Sheena Panteria up to bat. You can see her taking some deep breaths. Again, this World Cup tournament is new to the under 15 girls. Um, and this is the highest stage for these athletes. And, and we see that pitch out of the zone. But um, I don't know if they're feeling the pressure, but with... Softball getting voted back into the Olympics recently. These girls know that they're the future of the sport. And so um, they feel a little pressure here in this first game at the World Cup. You see Horova getting herself another strike there. The counts two balls, one strike. Just out of the zone, three balls, no strikes. Oh, 
And there's a walk. Horova getting a little frustrated, you can see. Um, but she's done well since her first inning where the nerves look like her nerves got to her. She's had some good innings since. Um, now she's got herself two outs with Janelle Santos up to bat. Showing bunt. Kind of a slap running through the box a little bit. Maybe trying to get that runner over to second. If Lucia Horova can just come back into her zone, get those strikeouts again, we'll get out of this inning. Santos with a count of one and one. Run on first, two outs. Selling that ball off. Getting a piece of it. Also getting a piece of the catcher. Again, one ball, two strikes. In the top of the fourth. And that's a great pitch from Harova. A change up. Catches her off guard, gets her strike out, and gets herself out of that inning. The Philippines lead 2-0 to zero with the Czech Republic coming up in the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, Victor Hemova leading us off. She struck out her last at bat this second time around. See if she can concentrate and shows bunt for the first pitch. It's low, ball one. In the circle for the Philippines, Erica Arnez is throwing a great game. She's got seven strikeouts so far. Again, Hemova being one of them. One ball, no strikes. Pemova shows bunt again. Just trying to get that ball in play and that's a tough thing to do when you've had so many strikeouts. You want to put the pressure on the defense or just get the ball in play and that's what she's trying to do here. Just get the ball down and force the Philippine defense to maybe throw the ball away. Another attempt at a bunt, pops it up foul. One ball, two strikes. For Pemova. And that's a hard hit foul ball up against the fence in foul territory, keeping herself alive. Again, the Czech have to be expecting this ball going up from Erica. Most of her strikeouts have been in that area. Oh, 
And we see her keeping it low this pitch. A little low out of the zone. And that's a good take from Pemova. Two balls, two strikes. And it looks like that ball was supposed to be a little higher, but it's efficient. Gets Pemova out. And Arnez racks up her eighth strikeout of the game. Christina Bohakova for the check, up to bat. Stripe one paints the outside corner. And that's a high, looks like high off speed. If a batter can recognize that, that can be a dangerous pitch to throw a hitter. But it looks like it caught Christina off balance a little bit. So no balls, two strikes. Bohakova. And looks at strike three on the outside corner. Great location. Little up. It doesn't look like she was expecting that pitch. And that's nine strikeouts for Erica Arnez of the Philippines. Bada Jaleska being aggressive, swinging at the first pitch and missing. Strike one. When you have a pitcher that's thrown nine strikeouts in four innings in the first game of the biggest tournament, that helps put some motivation behind your team and some confidence. And Erica's really carrying her team here. Goes up. Bada swings again. Strike two. And you see some smiles from Erica in the circle. You can tell she's relaxed and in control of this game. Absolutely. Trying to get Fada chasing outside. She's able to take it. One ball, two strikes. And there's that high pitch again. It looks like it tips off Erica's glove in the circle. Up the middle and they're able to make a play at first. 3-4. The Philippines lead 2-0 heading into the fifth. Top of the fifth. Beyond Baylene leading off for the Philippines. 
trying to score some extra runs and takes ball one. Rova with a pitch out of the zone. Two balls, one strike. Rova's racked up three strikeouts this game as well after she settled down after that first inning. Baleen fouls that ball off in foul territory behind first base. Not able to catch it. Still alive in the box. Two balls, two strikes. Horova going with that changeup that's been successful for her today. Misses outside and she's a little frustrated. That's a great pitch, just a little off the plate. Baleen takes it. Three balls, two strikes. And a ball up in the zone. And Hirova is going over to first base, keeping herself active in the game. And that's the one thing that we've seen these under 15 girls. A lot of these girls are able to play multiple positions. And that's huge in, in a game, in a tournament where it's a roster of 16 um, and you're able to play multiple positions. That's going to be an extra check for you. And that's a good thing. And we see that with Hirova going over to first base. And her Czech Republic team behind the circle. That's pretty cool taking a knee as she gets her warm-up pitches. Coming in with a runner on top of the fifth. The Philippines lead two to zero. Up to bat for the Philippines, Grazie Bayot. Showing bun and getting it down to the first baseman. Bare hands it, Hrovas throws it a bit wild. It bounces off the first baseman's glove. Bayot heads to second. The runner tries to score from third. And they miss the ball at home. Helmet's fallen off. So it looks like Bayut, who bunted the ball, Hirova at first tries to barehand it, gets an overthrow. They throw the ball to second to get Bayut. They get her at second. The runner's coming around third, throw the ball home. Catcher's not able to make the play. Philippines score. Three to zero, the Philippines now. And you can see coach here kind of settling down the girls. That was kind of a wild play. First game jitters still active, of course, in this huge tournament. A little bit of encouragement from a coach is always needed and can help you settle down.
with the ball to the first. Ground ball hit to the shortstop, overthrows it again at first. The runner heads to second and actually trips on that part of the dirt and is able to make it diving into second base. Again, we see the check kind of fumbling around here since our pitching change. Sledvakova, nice pitch. Ground ball to shortstop who overthrows it and it bounces off the first baseman's glove who's then able to recover it and throw it though. Again, the, the checks need to just settle down a little bit here. Said Sledvakova gets herself a nice first pitch strike, helping herself out a little bit. A big swing from Erica deep in center field. Pimova is able to track it down and get the check out of that crazy inning. Crazy enough for the Philippines, they're able to scrape one across the board, three to zero, going into the bottom of the fifth inning at game one of the World Cup. Bottom of the fifth with the Philippines leading three to zero. Erica Arnaz has had a great first game in the circle. She's at nine strikeouts. With Harova up to bat to get something started for the check. And she takes a big swing at strike one. Good take from Horova on that high pitch. It's been getting a lot of hitters this game. Arnez with that rise ball. Horova's able to lay off it. 1 1. And there's strike two. Horova looking at it go by. Probably wishes she would have swung. She's in a one-two count now. And big swing and miss for strike three. That's ten strikeouts for Arnez. And she's on fire. Nella Svetskova up for the check, seeing if she can put the ball in play. She shows bunt, pops it back out of play. Again, any type of ball in play here for the check can give them the smallest bit of momentum and just scrape some runs across. 
And they've tried to bunt a few times here and there, and they're just hopping them up. So they got to get a little more on top of it, especially Erica's rise ball. Start higher in the zone and work down. Svetskova shows bunt, pulls back, called strike two. And this is that hard part for the check is they miss a bunt first at bat. Now they're deep in the count with two strikes. And Erica goes up. And they swing and miss. Ten strikeouts for Erica Arnez. Little team huddle. You can see the girls having fun. Knowing their pitcher's on fire. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. With Teresa Skolochkiva up to bat. No balls, one strike. Therese chases that high outside pitch and is able to foul it off. And that's a good job. Again, if they're able to get their hands up high and connect with that high pitch, go for it. And there we see Therese swing at a higher pitch. Just under it, though, flying out to the third baseman. And that's a quick one, two, three for the Philippines. Erica Arnez with two strikeouts in this inning, keeping her team up three to zero heading into the sixth inning. Ana Pisa is going to start things off for the Philippines and see if they can get the leadoff batter on base and get him around. With Nathalia in the circle, came in last inning, had a little bit of trouble, crazy inning, a lot of overthrows. Hopefully they're able to settle down again. New inning, new start. It looks like Anna's got some batting gloves or towel hanging out of her pocket. Um, and the umpire just tells her to tuck it in. Nice change up from Nathalia. And she and Anna's able to foul it off into the stands. So we got a good look at the stadium here. 1-1 one, one count. Good pitch on the outside corner. Swing and a miss from Pisa.
Two balls, two strikes for Anna Pisa. Swing and ground ball to the second base. Easy play from Baleen. Again, when you're playing on the fields in Japan, and I've played there a few times, they play on turf, and it's, it's, I love it because you're able to read the ball well, kind of takes those easier hops, um, and just fun to play on overall. Christine Caligas, up to bat, takes a nice change up. Bounces in the dirt, though, though. One ball, no strikes. Another ball in the dirt. Said Lakova is able to get her first strike, paying the inside corner. Swinging at a pitch higher in the zone, Christine again. Second baseman is getting some action, able to make that play over at first. Two outs for the check. Francine Ragas coming in to hit for the Philippines. Excuse me, Francine is being replaced by Tiffany Lorenzo, who shows butt, pulls back, and is ball one. Good idea again, trying to put that ball in play. Or get a good look at the pitches, and she's this is her first at bat. Lorenzo trying to see the speed. Again, takes ball two. She's kind of got that slapper's walk, but then has the bat out in front like a bunt, is able to pull it back. Sedlakova able to get her first strike there on Lorenzo. Let's see if we can, if Lorenzo can put the ball in play. She does, she goes for it. And the third baseman slips on that turf and there's no play made. And that was a great bunt though, regardless. See Lorenzo moving her feet, goes down for the ball. Third baseman tries to barehand it, and that's a tough play. Slips and falls, and Lorenzo ends up safe at first. Lorenzo going for second base. The ball's thrown wide. That's our first stolen base attempt today. And I, a little unexpected. Catcher wasn't too ready. Runner on second with Sheena Panteria up to bat. Again, goes to show bunt, pulls back. Said Lakova, really working the corners. There you go. Working the corners 
around the plate. Gets a called strike on that inside corner as the Philippine batters show this bunt and pull back. And she tries to get them chasing on a ball just out of the zone, but too low. Resulting in a base on balls. So now we have runners on first and second. Two outs. She comes on back since that was only ball three. Sheena Panteria gets one more pitch, resulting in the same thing, a base on balls. So now we have runners on first and second. Two outs. With number 12, Janelle Santos up to bat with two outs and runners in scoring position. You see the runner on second taking a good lead. Said Lakava really working the lower half of the strike zone. Uh, missing a little bit, but you can tell she wants to get a ground ball and get her team out of this inning. And she's able to get that outside corner on Janelle. With one ball, one strike. To Janelle Santos. Magdalena Kramova is going to start things off for the Czech. A key for the Czech if they want to get runners on and pick away at the Philippines is to lay off that rise ball, go after something in the zone early, and just get base hits. Put the ball in play at this point and then work towards base hits and runs. And Magdalena is a great person to lead off for this Czech team. Takes a big swing, fouls that ball off, and has a 1-1 count now. Arne's going up in the zone. is able to, to get a piece of this one. Fouls it off, keeping herself alive, doing well at this at-bat. We see the Czech girls starting their cheers, trying to get a rally going. Ball two out of the zone. We can see Santos behind the plate for the Philippines, almost standing up when she wants those high pitches out of the zone. And there's another one called third strike on Magdalena.
Again, that high pitch has been Erica's go-to, and she's got 12 strikeouts with it. So I'd expect it there again. For Emma Friboiva. Called strike one. This ball's low. Now the Czech team here with one out and a runner on. Just get that ball in play. Try and lay off that rise ball. With Katarina Hol Holubsova up to bat now. She's had a few walks in this game, has tried to show bunt. Let's see if she can get that ball down. And that almost looks like a pitch out from the Philippines. Thinking of a potential stolen base attempt, but it's outside for ball one. Bunt shown again, fouls that off. One ball, one strike. Katarina again tries to go for that bunt and just kind of throws the bat out there instead of bending her knees. Gets a foul ball. One ball, two strikes. And Katarina does a great job not chasing that outside pitch from Arnaz. 2-2, two, two. runner on first base. Katarina swings and misses. Big out for the Philippines. And strikeout number 13 from Erica Arnaz. What a first game for this young lady. To come out here the Philippines, who placed third in the Asia Pacific Cup, giving them the qualification for this tournament, comes out here and is just throwing lights out for her team. Probably nothing more you can ask um, from a pitcher and really going to give her team momentum in the rest of this tournament and this, uh, this play. Now up for the Czech, Victory Pemova. She's had some good at bats, but still trying to get that ball solid in play. It's the bottom of the six. This will be her last chance. And she takes a big swing, fouls it off into the stands behind the Philippine dugout. One ball, two strikes for Pemova. Arnaz goes upstairs too high. Pemova is able to take it. Two balls, two strikes. Going upstairs again. Too high out of the strike zone. Pemova again laying off that high pitch, and that's a great job exactly what she needs to be doing. Three balls, two strikes. Okay. 
Emova again with a big swing, fouling it off towards that right, right side, right dugout, Philippines dugout, keeping herself alive, having a great at bat. And Arnaz comes inside too high and gets Pemova on that left elbow. Looks like she had a guard on, which is good. Not going to hurt her too much. But gets herself on. Advances the runner to second. With two outs, runners on first and second, the bottom of the six. It looks like Eliska Kotsova. Is coming in for the check. to get a chance to score some runs for her team here. And she takes a big swing. Eliska looks a little bit nervous up, the, up there, as she should be. She's in a huge situation here coming in. Two outs, two runners on, down by three in the sixth. Another big swing. And the runner on second goes and is thrown out at third. And that's a great heads up play from Santos, keeping an eye on the runner at second. And here we see the pitch from Arnaz. And the big swing and the throw down to third, getting that runner. Missed opportunity for the Czech Republic. The Philippines up 3-0, heading into the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh inning here at game one, Philippines versus the Czech Republic. Grazi Bayut. Up to bat for the Philippines with no outs. Fouls a ball off. The first pitch, so no balls, one strike. She's just trying to get her runner over, showing bun. Gets it down. Third baseman's able to recover and makes a great on-the-throw run. Getting Bayut at first. And that's a great job by the defense making a play. And even trying to backpick Baleen at first, or at second. But Baleen does her job, gets the ball down. Great on the run throw, keeping her momentum run going at third. 
One out with the runner on second. And a great play, Magdalena at third. Erica Arnez really keeping her team together on defense. Seeing if she can put the ball in play here. Score an insurance run for her team in the seventh inning. Show spun and she's able to pull back. Said Lakova in the circle. Good pitch. Arnez drives out in the 5-6 hole. And gets herself on at first. Great job running and moving the runner over to third. And she's got that bat out. High outside pitch that she goes with. It gets the ball into the outfield and advances the runners over. Timeouts called here from the check. It looks like we're going to have another pitching change. And they're going to bring in Teresa Golakiva. Getting some encouragement from her teammates. Terratza coming in in the seventh inning. Round. A swing and a miss from the batter. It looks like it was a protective swing, hoping the runner would run at second. Catcher overthrows it. Runner on third coming home is called out. Looks like she's a little injured. Definitely feeling some type of pain. So we have a low pitch. Looks like a safety swing. Catcher throws down. Second baseman cuts it off to get that runner coming home, which is a great cutoff. And it looks like she slams her head down. Yeah, hopefully she'll be okay. Karetza coming back with a great change up. With Erica Gonzalez up to bat. No balls, two strikes for Erica Gonzalez. And two outs here for the check. This is a big out for them. Outside. And that's a great change up from Teresa getting that third out. 
not allowing a run in that inning for her. Great job coming in and shutting down the Philippines. Last chance for the check as they trail 3-0 to zero here in the opening game of the World Cup. Erica Arnaz for the Philippines has pitched an incredible game. 13 strikeouts. And a great first pitch. A little low to Christina Bohakova. Boakova gets a good piece of that, drives it into center field, able to make the play, is Beyut. Just hit right at her. Good piece, though. One out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Arnez, nice pitch, getting ahead with strike one. And Jaleska is able to get to seventh to second safely. Here she is, she drives that ball, gets up, gets her hands up, drives it back into the leg of Erica, who then panics a little bit, tries to make the out and overthrows it. Bada's smart and takes that extra base, now puts herself in scoring position. And that's it. Little things that can result in something big. Give her team some momentum here. Lucy Horova up with one out and a runner in scoring position. First ball's low in the dirt, ball one. Swing and a miss for strike two. Horova started the game pitching. Got pulled out a little bit later. Has had some good swing. Kind of chops this one down to the first base side. First baseman tries to get the lead out at third. Too late. resulting in runners on first and third now. And that's a play that comes with experience. You're up three to zero. 
in the bottom of the seventh inning, even if that runner advances to third, even if she scores somehow, you're still ahead. You want to get that out at first and give yourself two outs now instead of one out with runners on first and third. And we'll see plays like that throughout this whole weekend again. These girls are only 13, 14, and 15 years old, and that's what's so incredible about them being able to participate in a Women's Softball World Cup at this age. With one out, we have Nella Svetskova in a great position for her team, laying off a high ball. One ball, one strike, with runners on first and third for the check. Two balls, one strike. Big swing from Nella. Swing and a miss. Again, that ball up in the zones. The Czech have not been able to lay off it or square it up and put it in play. I see Erica going up there again. There it is. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number 14. Second out for the Philippines in the bottom of the seventh inning. And we see Arnez again. Placing that ball exactly where she wants it. Where she knows those Czech girls are struggling. Runners on second, third. With the pitcher, Teresa. Teresa swings at that high pitch, is able to foul it off. Out of play. No balls, two strikes, and two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. A little off speed catches Tritz so she's able to get the bat on it and get it out of there. Fouls it off, keeping herself alive here. And she puts the ball in play to the shortstop who makes a great backhand play. Throws it over the first baseman, which is able to score two for the check, and they're back on the board, and they're in this game. Again, as we talked about earlier, just putting the ball in play and making the defense make those plays, putting the pressure on them. The Philippines think they've got this game. Teresa puts that ball in. Shortstop makes a great play. He's at short, makes a great backhand in play, unfortunately throws it over. And this is a close game with two outs here. Coming out, connecting with the girls, settling them down, the Philippines coach. They're one out away from winning this opening game. They just need to settle down and focus. 
Erica needs to focus back in. Magdalena Primova up to bat. Does a great job taking that first pitch high up in the zone, ball one. What a great first game for these ladies to play. Thought it could be over here, the check come, coming back. Another ball out of the zone, ball two. Erica Arnez in the circle. Seems like she's feeling the pressure a little bit. She was really locked in, hitting her spots. Now she's getting a little wild as these check bats come alive. And she finds herself painting the outside corner there for strike one. Magdalena laying off that high pitch again. Great job. Three to two in the bottom of the seventh inning. I'm excited if this is how the first game of the tournament's going. Can't wait for the rest. Three one. Big swing from Magdalena. Swing and a miss. Runner on first. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Check down by one. And here's the pitch. And it's a foul ball. A little confusing because Magdalena fouled it off. Looks like it hit the ground real quick. Or Magdalena. But then the catcher caught it. Great job from both ends. The pitching and the hitting at this at bat. Ball out of the zone. Ball four. And the catcher throws down, but it was ball four, so that runner on first was able to advance already. But seems to be a collision. We see that cold spray from the Czech team. Very familiar with that, playing with Team Italy. But there's smiles, so that's good. We know she's not, she's not injured, pulling the sock up. A little more cold spray is what that is. Numb it up for the athletes. Get her on her feet. And a little fun high five, apologies, laughs. And she'll come on out. As the check, come back in the seventh inning and make this interesting. Racking up two runs. Runner on first and second, two outs, trailing by one. Let's 
Emma Freebova. In the box for this Czech team. Keeping the momentum going. A wild pitch off the catcher's glove. The runners advance. Second and third now. Erica Arnez, again, the last six inning. Ha have, she's been unstoppable. Strikeouts, strikeouts, strikeouts. No balls in play, really. A few hits. Now she's getting a little wild. And she needs to lock in if she wants to secure this win for the Philippines with this pitch. A little too high. Two balls, no strikes for Emma Fribova. And Emma fouls that one off inside off the handle. Two balls, one strike. Off speed pitch. Strike two. They call this twos. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And Emma puts the ball just an inch or two in foul territory down the right field line. That could have been the game. If that dropped a few feet over. And she'll get another chance. Again, this Czech team has done well starting off this inning with some momentum. And Emma again. Fouling it off, fouling it off, battling and battling. A lot different than what we saw earlier with this team. When it was one, two, three. Here they are. Picking away. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the bottom of the seventh inning. And Emma now fouls it off down the third baseline. Again, keeping herself alive. Until she gets her pitch, getting those balls out. And this is the position every batter wants to be in. Emma fouls the ball off again to the right side into the stands. Found him off, found him off, found him off, keeping herself alive. You can see Eric Arnez pumping herself up, couple deep breaths. Could this be the payoff pitch? And it's high out of the zone. Emma takes it. Three balls, two strikes. And Emma drives the ball back to the pitcher. And Erica Arne is able to make the third out and win the game for the Philippines. With a final score of 3-2, to two, the Philippines take the first game of the tournament. The Czech had a great little comeback there. If they want to continue to do well in this tournament, they're going to have to get ahead earlier and be aggressive in the box and make those late plays happen earlier. Their pitching has to settle down 
and squeeze in this squeeze in the strike zone. Take notes from Erica Arnaz because she had an incredible game with 14 strikeouts all 7 innings and was able to hold her own on the offensive side as well. But there's a lot of games for these girls to play. Full week of softball. And we still have to finish the opening round before the super round and the placement round continue on. Again, great job from both teams. Coming back for the Czech Republic and the pitching on the Philippine side. We've got more games today with Chinese Taipei, Japan. And tomorrow, the Czech Republic will face Brazil at 10 o'clock, Puerto Rico at 1230. And then the Philippines will play the United States at the 6 o'clock game. For the WBSC and for softball everywhere, I'm Amanda Fama. Thank you for tuning in.